Dude, when you upgrade to these daggers, it's gonna be sick. Okay, so we're just, we're just in there. What's what's back here? What's back here? Chip coin. Nice chip cup coin. There's a ladder going up. Calcite garment. I just got done doing our shit. Dog's not happy about that either. My neighbors have a dog. It barks sometimes. When it gets mad about items. And that's your Worthless. Oh shit, I didn't need anything. Oh shit. Worth 95. Let's good, go. Good thing we have enough. Let's do it. You found a cat's. He just waved I goodbye. I fucking Dude, hate I knew this it. guy. I knew it. Oh. I was like, 95? They're going to troll you. This is so stupid. That's the only one in the whole fucking area, too. What a waste. Oh, we're worthless town. We should leave. Not without our permit. God dang it. Be gone. The Praetor is observing the exercises. Or is the or is it the praetor you have business with, perhaps? Now he's sad. Man, all these chip copper fucking coins. Yeah, it's just like walking from. Uh, oh, you can't. Oh, yeah, I was literally gonna do that. All right, I'm gonna save, and I'll just save for the same one because, like, well, what's the point not to? And then let's go over here and just make sure we're not missing any weird items. You never know, there's gonna be a cutscene, and all of a sudden we can't get shit. Okay, so what do we gotta do? Find out what's happening in the capital. Probably go to the inn. The inn? Mm hmm. Hmm. Well, this is not very bustling. Everyone's at the other inn just outside. Items around here. Items. Some stairs. I'll, I'll, I'll be. I'll, I'll be right back. I'm just uh, looking at your two fucking rooms. No one I know one's here. You got two rooms. Should I sleep here? Or? Yeah, I mean, might as well. Maybe something will happen. We're a bit swamped. <laughs> You're not. I thought for sure she was gonna charge you like more. Oh, for like the additional shit that she has to go through mm -hmm. for us. Apparently, she's making it up. Origin's Blessing. It's the name of the tavern. No, it's not even a tavern. It's literally just an inn. Okay. So I feel like maybe we should go through one of these doors. But we should probably look at the map. Okay. I know exactly where to go now. Man, I can't wait for us to get like a faster mode of transportation. I don't know. Maybe a skateboard or something. Maybe one that floats. Yeah, that would be sick. Like a floating skateboard. Yeah. That's something like that makes Like Back sense. to the Future. Yeah. Mango. <laughs> Listen to those cheers. The Royals sure have these folks in line. Subjects, may I have your attention? It is, it is I, I Percival as God, Crown Prince of the Midgan Empire. His Majesty, my father, and I are pleased to celebrate with you on this auspicious day. The ceremony started. It will be impossible to slip in now. What are you it's even easier After to slip in. After the opening ten years ago, our kingdom faced an existential threat. Both from demons and the terrible spread of demon blight. However, one man raised a miraculous sword and stood so that the body and soul of the land Over there. would not be you lost. You can climb up if you want, but attacking now would and be the suicide. I like how they have him talking through the speech. Was Artorius <laughs> Cold Artorius! are unfamiliar with Artorius's noble act. To bring us salvation from demons, he sacrificed everything. But he's a murderer. 
He called Lord Inominat, one of the five Imperians, and blessed us with the strength of the Malachim. But he's a murderer! Velvet! He serves as a shining beacon of reason in this world of turmoil. And reason is what binds us. But you killed him! You took everything that I loved! So raise your voices in praise to Artorius's devoted work, to the Savior who purifies evil and guides our flock. Let us the shepherd? Call him our shepherd. shepherd. He's the shepherd. What? So we're playing Zestria right now, and this is crazy. He was the first shepherd. Is he the first shepherd? I think so. Thank you, thank you. It's nothing, really. Is this the time period that they're talking about where, like, humans and seraphim live together and shit? Mm. Even though the world was filled with suffering, I had to... Ask something tremendous of you all. I entrusted you to endure the pains of reason. I asked you to bind yourselves with shackles of your own will. For the only blade that can expel calamity <laughs> is fucking eye, bitch. forged from unshaking reason calamity? and the iron will to do what must be done. And now that very blade stands ready. Before all of us today, I offer my body and my life in service to the people of this great land. With the blessings of the Empyrean in Nominat, I will guide you to a world without calamity. And this world's suffering will be nothing but a distant memory. Mm, dog, I got some bad news for you. You're the one who murdered. Fool, they'll see us. You're the one who killed Lothi said. What? You really gotta get someone to look at that wound. It's always bleeding all the time. The Shepherd Artorius. That's who you're after? Oh, and here I was hoping you'd just straight up pounce on him. That would be certain death. No, I need a sword of reason and will. That's the only thing that can kill him. How does she all of a sudden know this? Killing Lord Artorius. Playing it safe? Boring! Regrettably, it is at this juncture we go our separate ways. I've got a bit of hunting to does do. Does she ever actually join the group? No stopping you. Goodbye. Farewell! May your days be fruitful and your nights tormented. If our enemy's calling himself a shepherd, he won't be going into hiding. Let's take this slowly. The old man behind him. Melchior, I take it? Yeah. Let's gather information on these people. If we know what they're planning, we can find a weakness. They're the most powerful men in the land. If we're going to look into them, we need a lead first. Aizen, do you have any underworld contacts in the capital itself? Like your friend at the port? I don't go inland much, I'm afraid. But Eifried has close ties to a shadow guild, a tavern in the city run by an old man called Baskerville. Serves as a front for them. Does a he have a group of hounds? Are they, are they the hounds of Baskerville? Actually exist. Uh, I'm hungry. <laughs> that settles it. Let's head to that tavern. They'll have food, I'm sure. Why not? Hey, our expedition's returned. What'd you guys get? Take a look at this. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm so sick of soy sauce and tuna. Yeah. Scout ship setting sail. Oh, Kadoki. I think I should probably start, like, cooking shit. Like, yeah. Um. Probably, like, auto cook. This 
this the only dish that she can cook? I, I learned like another recipe, I thought. I can't move between people though. Yeah, just click. Oh, okay. And then. Oh, choose dish. Oh, here we go. Oh, we're getting some fucking shit for that. Yeah, buddy. Uh. Yeah, sure. Food's ready. It's nothing special. I'm still level one because we haven't done this shit the whole fucking game. Yeah. <laughs> My stomach made a weird noise. You just ate the some fish. Sure, were out in full force to see the shepherd's inauguration, weren't they? So he has to be the first shepherd. Everybody's there? talking like he. What? And have to stand around looking like all are we the it. gang that brings no, around calamity? Is he the Lord of Calamity in Zestiria? That wouldn't matter to him. I don't even know. The turmoil, the intrigue. Right. Does he look like a like no, a landy? Of the shepherd, I noticed he wasn't using his right arm. Was he hurt or something? Yeah. He was badly wounded a long time ago. He lost the use of his sword arm. Why is Eisen like up That's there? What I oh, I never realized it Don't moves the, the things up like idea. that. He's still a master swordsman with his left arm. I can tell that from the way he moves. His movements are steady very and lefty. And his chi is centered below his navel. Huh? Why does that matter? Some people say that all the body's spiritual energy gathers in a place about two finger widths below the navel. Even when he appears All to I be have in a state a belly. of total peace, his guard is never down. He's a formidable adversary. <laughs> and I think I know why my target has placed himself at Artorius's side. Because now I want to take Artorius down too. Alright. Let's fuck some shit up. After I grab this cat. Alright. You just like... You're just gonna ignore that chest? Oh my god, I didn't even see the chest. <laughs> Holy bottle! Did you even see what it did? It was the first one you got. It's not the first one I've gotten. It is the first one I got. Okay. I'm mixing up the games again. Prevents encounters with weak enemies. It's a repel. So, I don't know what this blue thing is. This is just like where we were hanging out before, so it's like, yo, this is where you were before. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just grabbing this shit for, like right between you. I oh, hope that's okay. Oh, okay, so this is all this up here. So I, I'm assuming I have to move forward. Wait, no, there. you can't move forward. Move up here. That's what I meant. I'm pretty sure this is nowhere, but there might be a box or something. Verbena. Thought they could hide their tarnished silver coin right here. Heh. <laughs> Couldn't get past me. Okay. So, I guess we're finding info. So, I should probably just, uh... Probably head back to the inn. Yeah. Well, I have to go to a particular tavern. Find a tavern. Oh, there's someone new to talk to. Also, there's a new, like, icon on the map. It's a purple Shadow Guild icon, probably. Shepherd! Savior, Savior of mankind! Who guides us through the darkness. What an appropriate title for Lord Artorius. Yeah, that's easy. Gotta be the first one. As long as we have Shepherd Artorius, we'll make it through this era of disaster. Shepherd Artorius? How pompous can you get? Artorius has already seized control of all religious and secular power in Midgand. But now that he's taken on this new title, he's no longer just an authority figure. He's become the very hope of the masses. A dangerous opponent indeed. After seeing that, will you still fight him? Of course I will. He could be a god for all I care. I'll oh, have shit. my vengeance. I have a feeling he's going to be a god. Didn't you pick up those cats earlier? I did. Now I got more. <laughs> Let's go to this purple place. It looks like that guy's the Baskerville dude. What'll it be? Some food for the boy. Marble curry is our specialty. It takes a week to stew properly. 
Mabo Curry. Nobody fucking asked you, old Some woman. of that, then. Say, do you know a man named Baskerville? I heard we might find him here. That old man? A scoundrel and criminal who went against the rules of the Abbey. They executed him long ago. Oh. Damn. Well, shit. I keep getting Mavo Curry on my hat. Curry is amazing. Still tastes nothing. You get along so well. Is he your brother? No. No, he wouldn't be, would he? After all, your brother was murdered before your eyes. How do you know that? The Which shadows what? watch those who flinch from the light. So the guild is still active, even after Baskerville's arrest? That's right. Just like how Ifried's crew continues their piracy, even without their captain. So you're the contact? What may I help you with? I want to know what Artorius is planning. Information such as that? It won't come cheap. I have here a list of jobs, not one remotely legal. Take care of all of them, and I'll tell you what you want to know. So destroy goods, search for a missing man, or file an ambush. Start at the top? Yeah. I want you to destroy goods in red crates stored at a warehouse in Port Zexon. Sure. Take this with you as documentation. It's fake, but it's a good fake. It'll hold up to inspection. It's registered to Mogulu's Menagerie. <laughs> oh, was that not the name you gave to the guard at the gate? My God, this <laughs> bitch is crazy. I can see you're a group to be reckoned with. Report back here once you're finished. However, be aware that should you fail, then this conversation never took place. Got it. I'll cause you no trouble. I appreciate your understanding. You're welcome to stay the night, free of charge. Forget about work until the morning comes. And she's nice. She's like, uh, like right. everyone's favorite criminal You're grandma. Captain <laughs> the captain has done much toward our viability. I promise that I'll share anything I hear about him for no charge. Well, that's nice. Why can't you do the other thing for no Thanks. charge? All we know is there was a pendulum on the ground at the last place he was seen. And that Legate Melchior is connected to the captain's disappearance. How? We don't know. Yo, bro. Our sunglasses are sick. Yeah, man. No, I'm good. Thanks. I got, I got brandy. That is not brandy. Sounds, Sounds like you've got whiskey problems and a half. Do you really have time to take on ours as well? I could ask you. You think that you motherfucker drinks brandy? No. He's a pirate. Me? So maybe it's rum. I've got a debt to repay. Without her, there's no way I'd have ever found my blade again. A demon repaying a debt? Ridiculous. Ridiculous. As ridiculous as a pirate Moloch, you think? Hmm. Ah, good fucking sake, man. No matter how you look at it, there's nothing reasonable about our rogue existence. And in this brave new world governed by reason, he's getting all philosophical. He's had too much sake. Become a monster like me, or or band together with others, like a ship full of pirates, perhaps. Oh my exactly. god, his, his sunglasses match his eyes. <laughs> Velvet's courage, squaring off against the whole world on her own. If you can accomplish that, it takes strength. Real strength. And rage. It takes a lot of rage. Comes from. So you're doing it for yourself after all. Is that so wrong? <sighs> no. I'm the same. I need allies didn't drink on any my of that. side. The yeah, he just really spilt it. Combat this so-called order imposed by the Abbey. But anyone who's willing to put up with the 
creed folly of Eifried's pirates. Has to be an even bigger fool than we are. So I'm like you. I want to know how deep her foolishness goes. She'd kill you if she heard that, you know. It's a compliment. Fools that big aren't born every day. Uh huh. And I imagine your dear Captain Eifried's much the same. Dude, that glass holds a lot of fucking. <laughs> they just switched. They fucking... switched. <laughs> that man flies his full flag proudly. Wait. Oh shit! This is socket. What the fuck? It's all out, dude. What? Okay. That whiskey was out too, and now it's back. Whatever. The shepherd are toys. Nice little bonding moment for them. He's got the populace eating from the palm of his hand. That was some bonding. Hmm. Bro bonding. Just how deeply will the fangs of our would-be tragic heroine scar this broken world of ours? Is she like the bard of the group? I've got a traitor to find, but in the meantime, this should be a good show. All right, Miss Fourth Wall. This is all told from her perspective, maybe? No. You don't know. Got a travel permit. Gain a new recipe. Mabo Curry. Sick. Tarnished silver coin. Mysteries in the Shadows Guild. A kind face for such a hard woman. She knew about me and our cover. She's got ears everywhere. And that's not all. She called the papers fake, but they're not. So she's got spies working on the inside, too. I heard that her predecessor, Baskerville, was a monument against authority. To think he was executed. They've lost their leader, but remain unconquered. Not an organization to trifle with. That's how they have to be to take on the Abbey. We'd better succeed on our missions, and not just to get the information we need. Yeah. Besides, I'd like to get another of those drinks, too. You're a man of taste. That place always has the best. This place. We're still in the place. Uh, you'd better work hard, too, if you want more Mabo curry. I will. So now I'm, like, left questioning if, if he's actually the real Lava Set. I mean, I know he is, but, like, I'm still questioning it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't know if she's a Lava Set or not. God fucking damn it, dude. What? <laughs> ghost bed! <laughs> I ain't afraid of no ghost bed. It's not even a bed, but whatever. Ghost oh, couch. Oh, shit, there's a door that you just came out of. Or th did you come out of the other one? No, I came out of that one. Are you sure? Right, there's no door there's up here. There's no dude. door there. Hmm, okay. <laughs> I guess you're right. Oh my god, can we play games? Dealing with questions is harder than any job the Bloodwings will throw at you. Care to see for yourself? Um, Super Game Rules. This is a game where you try to bring the right orders to the customers. Oh, wow. Oh, this customers was in who, Symphonia. C customers who are waiting uh, to have their orders taken will have speech balloons above their heads. Start by taking their orders. No. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> oh my god. Each game is played in a series of three stages. Uh, oh, it was four parts? No, I ain't doing that. There's someone out there who's like, It's the best game in the game! Destroying red crates in a warehouse? Doesn't sound very nice. Have we ever been nice? <laughs> I suppose not. This is a contract job, so let's keep costs down. I'll call the Von Eltia and have her draw the guards away. If you would. What will we be destroying? Crates. Red crates. That's hardly our concern. Oh, he's, I think he's talking about what was in the crates. Never mind, dude. Sorry. No, I'll just answer him literally. <laughs> okay, let's go talk to this person way the fuck over here while we look at this. I'm sure, crates. Okay, let's look at that. How do I scroll up? How do I zoom out? World map is why. Oh, I hate this. So much. It's why. why. Nope, it's over there. Port Zexon. We've been here before. That's where we just came from. Mm-hmm. Dag nabbit. That ceremony was simply fantastic. Lord Artorius's speech was brilliant, of course, but Prince Percival was really something, too. He raises up Artorius to help the He's an informed man. people, then willingly steps down. Now that's what I call a king. You think so? Well, to me, he just looks like a wimp. 
He may look that way, but he has a great <laughs> inner strength. He's excelled as a scholar and a leader since he was young. His only hobby is falconry, but sadly, I hear he hasn't had the time for it lately. Oh, you that seem sucks. Like a big supporter of his. Well, he's got two younger brothers, but just between you and me, they're dolts. Worse, they hang with a bad crowd. Yeah. If anything were to happen, people who to don't Prince falcon, Pistol, the future of Midgand would be bleak. I see. So everyone's hopes are riding on him then. Which means Midgand's vulnerable without him. Dude, the dude is actually playing a banjo, and he even has like the weird, like, uh, top fret. Yeah, the fifth string. Yeah, halfway. Wow. Damn, that's real accurate. That is actually super accurate. That's crazy. You don't see that very often in games. Okie dokie. Just so. sitting there, like, life on the farm was kind of laid back. Ain't nothing that a country boy like me can't hack. That'd be an interesting rend rendition, considering that the original doesn't really have a... It's on fiddle. Yeah, it doesn't have a banjo. Okie dokie, artichokey, go talk to this person in the alley. You know, a fiddle and a violin are the same thing. Yep, it's just the way it's played. Crazy. He may be the shepherd now, but no one knows who he was before the advent, or what he did. No, they don't. But he showed up one day with a mallet in tow. Routed the demons and formed no, a band of skilled young exorcists. That sounds pretty suspicious, right? But the kingdom readily acknowledged his abilities and his conviction, and threw its full support behind him. Maybe he plans on usurping power for himself. Not likely. He's worked tirelessly to rebuild the church and state, and to shore up the royal family's position. Lining his pockets from the state coffers, then. Not the slightest chance. <laughs> Rather, he's got all the other higher-ups worried he's working himself to death. Then what's he after? Hmm. Maybe there is no ulterior motive. Maybe he is our shepherd. Whatever the case, if he hadn't shown up when he did three years ago, Midgand would be a smoking ruin. See, there's still that theory that I had before, which is he's not actually bad, and that she's, like, completely, like... That it was like a necessary sacrifice. And she's like blinded by rage and she's gonna end up like ruining a bunch of shit in the end. Yeah, probably. 